let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, by whose gift St. Elizabeth of Hungary recognized and revered Christ in the poor, grant through her intercession that we may serve with unfailing charity the needy and those afflicted. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. All men were by nature foolish, who were in ignorance of God, and who from the good things seen did not succeed in knowing him who is, and from studying the work did not discern the artisan. But either fire or wind or swift air, or the circuit of the stars or the mighty water, or the luminaries of heaven, the governors of the world, they considered gods. Now, if out of joy in their beauty they thought them gods, let them know how far more excellent is the Lord than these, for the original source of beauty fashioned them. Or if they were struck by their might and energy, let them from these things realize how much more powerful is the one who made them. For from the greatness and the beauty of created things, their original author and by analogy is seen, but yet for these the blame is less, for they indeed have gone astray perhaps, though they seek God and wish to find him. For they search busily among his works, but are distracted by what they see because the things seen are fair. 
But again, not even these are pardonable. For if they so far succeeded in knowledge that they could speculate about the world, how did they not more quickly find its Lord? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day pours out the word to day, and night to night imparts knowledge. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world their message. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, As it was in the day of Noah, so it will be in the days of the Son of Man. They were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage up to the day that Noah entered the ark. And the flood came and destroyed them all. Similarly, as it was in the days of Lot, they were eating, drinking, buying, selling, planting, building on the day when Lot left Sodom. Fire and brimstone rained from the sky to destroy them all. So it will be on the day the Son of Man is revealed. On that day, someone who is on the housetop and whose belongings are in the house must not go down to get them, and likewise one in the field must not return to what was left behind. Remember the wife of Lot. Whoever seeks to preserve his life will lose it, but whoever loses it will save it. I tell you, on that night there will be two people in one bed, one will be taken, the other left. And there will be two women grinding meal together. One will be taken and the other left. They said to him in reply, Where, Lord? He said to them, Where the body is, there also the vultures will gather. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This particular passage seems a little odd from Luke's Gospel, but putting it in the context of always trying to look forward and see the kingdom of God, um, it makes set true sense in this way. Jesus, in talking to his disciples, is um, telling them and giving them examples from the Old Testament about people who are concerned about what is happening here on earth. And they're worried about preserving their life here on earth and the life of others. Something traumatic comes about, wipes it all out, and there's nothing left. He uses the example of Lot's wife, and we know that she turned into a pillar of salt. And I think what happened is she also looked back in life, not looking at the coming of the kingdom. It's very difficult to take what we have here on earth to enjoy it and wanting to preserve it. And we know that many times uh, as human beings, we look back to what has happened, what has been, what has been given to us, what we have, and so on. And you know as well as I, there are people who totally live in the past. The present and the future are not kind of in their uh, thinking at all. Jesus is saying that from a spiritual perspective, we need to look ahead and we need to long and yearn for the coming of the kingdom. 
When we look back, we preserve what we have. When we look forward, we long for eternal life. Let us pray today that we may always have the eyes, the mind, and the heart to look ahead, ahead to the coming of God's kingdom, the second coming, the final judgment, and what we have on earth, know and believe, will vanish. Let us pray for the pilgrim church on earth. May God grant us the grace to live in readiness and strive to save our lives by losing them. Let us pray to the Lord. For public authorities, may the light of Christ illumine their decision-making in their efforts to respect the dignity of all human life. Let us pray to the Lord. For all those who thirst for light in situations of great darkness, may God's love lead them to everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. For our family of faith, may God's love grow in our hearts and help us extend our hands to those in need. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have gone before us in faith, may God welcome them to heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty God, you know all things. Hear and answer these prayers according to your wisdom. We make these prayers through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father, Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your people, and grant that we who celebrate your Son's work of <clears throat> boundless charity may, by the example of Blessed Elizabeth of Hungary, be confirmed in the love of you and of our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness 
and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Now and 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. This is how all will know that you are my disciples if you love one another, says the Lord. At this time, we invite you to join in a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having fed upon the delights of the sacrament of salvation, O Lord, we humbly implore your faithful love that imitating by your grace the charity of blessed Elizabeth of Hungary, we may always be made partakers with her in glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Praise to you, God. Saint Michael, we are angel, and as a spell, we are protection against the wicked.